Hey there, folks. It's me, once again, PokeAZ7. And this time, fresh off the track of arcade goodness, is 19 exit exit. So yeah, over here in California is it's like burning hot over here. But anyway, yes, what we are playing tonight is 19. X. Exit. The War Against Destiny. Brought to us by Capcom of 1996. I kind of find that funny because before we had the Loop Master, which came out four years prior to this. <laughs> Star is fictional and in no way related to any historical or fictional war. Uh, yeah, right. Sure. Whatever you say, because winners don't use drugs. No, they don't. They don't use drugs. So this time we have uh, Lightning, Mosquito, and Shinden. I'm going with the Lightning. Just because Lightning just kicks ass. So we're going after the primary target, namely... Ayako Special. Ain't that like the usual? They're shooting down my people like that. This shit will not stand. So we got the double X Buster, I like to call it. Just because, yes, it is something like 1943. It's a little more updated than 1943. I don't know why Capcom said that it has no historic reference. Uh, apparently, the enemy doesn't know what it's doing. And yes, just like previous games, you can do a stock charge. So basically, yes, you can start shooting and charging at the same time. Just like that. Cause we smoked everybody while we give them the bird. Rank E, really? How was that? Yeah, fuck you guys. There you go. Just a place just like 1941 counterattack. There you go. Rank S, bitches. So next, we're going after... Raime. Yeah, all I have to say is... I like this. These are one of the very few games I wish Capcom had brought out. I mean, there have been many, many games, but I think, I shouldn't say brought out, but I believe what they should do is make a, make a Capcom Classic Edition Volume 3. 
Because I want to see all these lost Capcom games. Yes, lost Capcom games. So this is the war before the war of 20XX. <laughs> yeah, this is the war before the war of 20XX. Certainly, I like it. I mean, really? Come on. If you're a fan of shooters, and I know I'm a fan of shooters, come on, Capcom. Really? I mean, I may have riffed on a couple of things the night prior to this, but it's a whole new thing. I mean, look, th this has potential to be remade into something even greater. Like a 19XX Kai or something, I don't know. I mean, look, the gun has a built-in Mega Buster. A built-in Mega Buster. Because I only believe in quality, ladies and gentlemen. I only believe in the quality of gameplay. It's like this. If I were to go to say a swap meet find a game for 20 bucks and yet it plays like it was a $50 game then it was money well worth spent compared to a game that would be $50 and after maybe two hours it's a game that you beat in two hours and then just have this feeling of unsatisfactory relief. Like ho hum, it's no it's no big deal. Sunk bitches. Don't you just love that? No, they just don't mess around in this game. Next, we have Carbot Armor. Now, hopefully, you know, yeah, this is one game that deserves to be, well, it should be ported over. At least for Nintendo Wii, if not Xbox Live Arcade, you know, one or two. Don't send it over to PlayStation 3. They got enough problems as is. No, send it over to the consoles that need need that specialty. That know how to treat arcade games right. And that's right, I said Xbox 360. Because really, they do know how to treat their arcade games with respect and dignity. I say there's no problem with that. Really, there is no problem with that. As long as, you know, you find old games like this. I mean, it, 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 it. It's um, it's still in good condition. Really, it's still in good condition. I I I find it to be like an awesome game for 1996. And mind you, 1996 was when I was still in high school. I couldn't find a game like this 
in no flipping arcade unless I had to go all the way downtown to do so. Or rather, Del Amo. But yes, I am telling you, this is one of the games that should be re-released into an another Capcom Classics disc. I mean, we already got fir Capcom's first shooter, XEs. Legendary Wings, uh, 1942, 1941, 1943, 1943, Kai, Gunsmoke, the arcade Gunsmoke, not the Nintendo version. The Nintendo version has something that the arcade, I believe, didn't have. Which was a storyline. But I'm not talking about Gunsmoke. I'm talking about this series. The War Against Destiny, known as 19XX, long before the War of the Robot Masters, which happened in 20XX. Long before Stinkoman ever came into the picture in the year 2060X. Long before the year of 2060X! Yeah, we believe the ghost piles were still... We're still kicking it back in. Oh yeah, that's another good game you should also try. Uh, even though I have to say it is long as fuck. I mean, really, it is long as fucking. Have I shown all the bombs? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, I can hold this down? Oh, shit, hold on. Hold on. Hold, hold on. There you go! I never knew I could hold that down. You know, that's the first time I actually noticed that. I can actually hold down the bomb for... A better blast. Oh, you know what? Wait a minute. One, two, three, and we're gonna drop the big fan whammy. Oh, and if that's not enough... Bye-bye, you asshole. Covered armor got destroyed. I don't care about no rank. Rank has no meaning here. Damn straight. Extend, bitches! Extend and retract the claw. Grants. Grants, ladies and gentlemen. Grants has made an appearance. Now, believe it or not, yes. <sighs> Capcom has so many games that they have underneath their big fat asses that they don't even consider the time and the effort to actually bring out the good shit. I mean, no offense, but you know, I do like Resident Evil. I know I'm not going to do a Resident Evil run. I'm sorry. I said I like Resident Evil. I'm not knee deep into the series. But I do like the shooters. Now if I still had the shooters, that'd be something. 
because that is basically Resident Evil in a nutshell. I like that. I prefer Resident Evil in a nutshell, and I, like I said, I do not like um, survivor horror, especially when you have to run, run for your life. I don't think so. I said, if that happens, uh-uh, -uh, man. Fuck me, kill me. You know what I mean? I'm sorry, but just kill my ass. If I gotta be running in the face of danger, I said, look, I'd rather have a stick and go down fighting. But I'd rather not run, okay? I mean, it'd be a last resort, yes. Last resort aside, yes, I will do that. But I ain't doing that. <laughs> no, I'm not doing none of that. No, I'm sorry. That scream for your life bullshit, nah, that don't roll me. Three, two, one. Drop the hammer! Now, I know this is gonna be slow as shit, but you know what? I don't really give a hair. Now, where are you going, boy? Yeah, drop them medals, man. Of course, if it plays anything like, um, 1944, The Loop Master, The War Against Destiny is something that should be admired and played as well as you dropping a lot of quarters in, or if we had a home version. Pressing the credit button over and over and over and over and over again. Like, maybe 99 times, maybe 200. But we blow the bastard up. What, seriously? We shoot the bastard down as we give him the bird. One, two, three, and drop the bitch! Like I say, you know, I'm, I'm just basically an LP here and a and a and an author. So therefore, the best thing about now is that I can no longer worry about my book, which is a great thing. All I can say is, hey, I got all the time in the world now, and to consider what I've been through. What I've been through throughout all this time, I was worried about my own life, you know, what to do and how I should do it, because everybody is expecting me, or at least, I don't know how many people are expecting me to do this for my life, what I should do, but I don't give a shit. If it's my life, I'll do whatever I damn well please with it, as long as I make something out of it, as long as I make something out of it. Well, that damn thing won't be coming back. Salute your new general, bitches. <laughs> Sancho Pedro. I mean, Capcom has gone through so much. If they got so many old games, I mean, don't just limit them. It's like, yes, when, when, I mean, when Capcom Classics came out, I instantly bought it. I instantly bought both. When 
they when it all came out oh yeah I bought the game I bought both of them Oh, where are you going, sir? What's the hold up? I got my double X, my double X buster. Yeah, there you go. Me and my double X buster are going places. How much the likes of you have never seen before? I almost forgot about that. The three way. The three way is just damn explosive. Stupidly damn explosive. Just because it's so damnably delicious. More metals, M more metals for the metals. But I need my Vulcan back. My badass Vulcan, which pones all, leaves none. Down, boys. I know you want to see some more, but I don't think so. I don't mind making you guys into greedy little bastards, even though you already are greedy little bastards. Now, I could have went for the Shinden, or I could have went for the Mosquito, but I love my P-38. Now, believe it or not, I actually went to a plane museum, and I believe it was, it was out there in the valley. I, I know it's out there in the valley. And the one thing I actually saw was the actual P-38. And I kept saying, oh, look, it's 1943. You know, the P-38 Lightning. And... The guys I went with, they were actually surprised that I know I knew the P-38. I was like, yeah, I know I know about the P-38. You know, I, I play, I said, you know me, I'm a gamer, I play 1943. That was one game that I know just had, you know, it just had, you know, the P-38. And, you know, they treat the P-38 as, you know, the best, if not the best weapon, quite possibly the best weapon. If not one of the best planes, the most simplified ones that can be overpowered easily, overly superpowered. And I heard the history about, you know, the P-38 and everything else. So mind you, I was like, wow. The stuff I didn't know about the P-38. Screw this. I'm blowing everyone you know, up in this song, bitch. Oh, you didn't get enough of that, huh? One, two, three. Oh really? You, you you just didn't get enough. Now you did. Well, <laughs> that was.
was it. Central Pe Central Pedro destroyed. Your ass got blown up, sir. And lo and behold, they call me Captain Falcon. <laughs> So our next target is Outer Limits. The Outer Limits, ha ha ha. Oh, very funny. But yes, here, but yes, you know, there are plenty of games that Capcom has. And you know, aside from Mega Man, Aside from Mega Man, this is my second best series I, I, I enjoy playing, which is the 19XX series, or the 19XX series. I'm actually playing this under time because, well, it's almost 1 o'clock here. Not like I actually care what time it is. But I mean, really, it's like one, almost one here. But I really want to be watching Star Blazers. And that comes on at two. Yes, they show anime again. Isn't that just lovely? Hmm? Yeah, sci fi is starting to show anime. I mean, they're starting to show 1979 anime. Damn, that was a good year. That was when I was born. Anyway, yeah. They're showing Star Blazers. A.K.A. Uchu Senkan Yamato. Space Battleship Yamato. That's right. I'm actually surprised they're showing something so old, so bold, and yet so epic. I, I, I'm actually... I'm actually surprised they did that. You know, the only two shows I ever watch on Sci-Fi will probably be when it was when it was on Sci-Fi. It was Doctor Who. Well, actually, there were three shows. It was Mystery Science Theater 3000. Yeah, I'm a Misty's fan, and Doctor Who. Other than that, I watched I watched anime. Like when it showed at like what, five o'clock or so? Yeah, I stayed up till five. Watched my anime, cause that was all I needed for Saturday morning. I just need anime. Fuck everything else. I just need my anime. Well, yeah, there you go. Hello, sir. Mind if I shoot you in your hands? Do you mind if I do this? Do you mind if I shot you in your face? I'm glad to know that you don't mind me shooting you in the face like that. But yes, like I said, yeah, I'm actually surprised that after all that, yes, they're actually showing some classic anime. I mean, no offense, but you know, Gundam simply got overrated. Unless, and I do mean unless, UC was on, I mean UC 79, Universal Century Gundam.
Because really, I love my Gundam. Yeah. I don't need to tell you what's going on. Because we know this is not over. Oh, no. This is far, 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 far from over. We're going knee deep in the enemy territory. As you can hear, yeah, I'm just basically blowing these sons of beaches to wait. What, seriously? What, seriously? That's a... The music is pretty good. I think this is it. No, this ain't it. Oh, great. He's turning into the Green Goblin. Wonderful. Got your freaking Goblin Flyer out. Oh, yeah. You're being a real pain in my ass now, sir. You know what? Get your little ass over there. Oh, snap. There goes the super shell. I do mean the super shell. Yeah, games like this, yeah. Games like this really needs to come back. Yeah, it's all shooting right here. Where you going, bitch? No, where you going? Level two, level three, and blow the fucker up. And if that's not enough. Well. Effective. 
You are as super ineffective as a Pokemon. You freaking chim Pokemon. Oh, and that still doesn't blow you up? That will, though. That will, though. Oh, yeah. Wear it proud, folks. Wear it proud. I think that does it. Uh, I think, yeah, that does it. So I think that blows up and... And they come spiraling down to Earth. Here I am. I'm going to take one for a team. And just say, no, sir. So, that was 19XX, The War Against Destiny. This was a pretty good game. Whew. Of course, I have been the underdog of the underrated Fuki Izzy 7. And this was 19XX, The War Against Destiny. Brought to us by Capcom in 1996. Enjoy the dawn of a new age. <laughs>